Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. This week I'm going to talk to you about multi-factor authentication in Snowflake, what it's all about, what it's designed to do, what problem does it solve. Importantly, I'll go through the steps of how you get a user to enroll in MFA and what that process flow looks like. And also if they encounter any problems such as leaving their mobile device at home, how you can disable MSA, or you can actually grant them a, a period of grace to bypass MFA. So I hope you find this video useful. When I started using Snowflake in 2017, I found it really hard to get hold of real world practical content that I could use and apply in my day to day job of designing and implement in Snowflake solutions. So I'm putting together this range of videos for you to help you guys do that. And I hope you find it useful. If you do, uh, please like and subscribe. Leave uh, some comments for me. It'd be great if you've got any ideas of uh, future topics that you want me to cover on Snowflake. Please call out in the comments. Let me know what you think and what ideas you have. We'd be really appreciative of that. OK, guys, welcome back. And let's talk about multi-factor authentication in Snowflake. So what is it? The multi-factor authentication, or MFA, provides an additional layer of security by requiring a user to provide a secondary form of authentication over and above the standard logon to Snowflake. Increasingly, MFA has been rapidly rolled out across a variety of applications which store sensitive data such as banking apps. So you may have came across this before when you try to log into a website using an email address. If you've got a secondary device registered for MFA, you will get a notification, typically a six digit code SMS to you, and you will be asked to enter that to get access to your account details. And this is exactly the same kind of mechanism which Snowflake have adopted to provide an extra layer of security around your accounts and authentication. It aims to secure access for any user in their device, regardless of their location. So no matter where you are, as long as you have access to the internet and you've got your secondary mobile device with you, you'll be able to access your account securely from anywhere in the world. So MFA is a built-in feature for all Snowflake editions. It's actually supported by an external company called Duo, who are owned by Cisco but the actual MFA process is managed end-to-end -end by Snowflake. As a user, you're required to download and install the Duo mobile app to use this feature. So on your mobile phone, Android or Apple, you go to the App Store or the Google Play Store and you download the Duo app initially. And I'll show you in a second some of the steps that you need to take to register your device as part of MFA. OK, so the enrollment process in Snowflake. So in line with Snowflake's principle of keeping admin tasks to a minimum, you can't enforce MFA for any of your Snowflake users. And so that means that your Snowflake users need to self-enroll through changing their user preferences. So you may find it quite strange, certainly I did initially, that as an account admin, I may want to enforce all my Snowflake data consumers to be enrolled in MFA, but unfortunately there's no option at this present time to do that. Each and every individual needs to go into their user preferences and elect to enroll in MFA and follow the registration process, which I'm going to cover in a second. So in the Snowflake web UI, this is what the uh, preferences area for a user looks like for MFA. It gives you the status and it tells you here this particular account is not enrolled in MFA. To do, do the self-enrollment, you click that uh, enroll in MFA piece underlined on the pane on the screen, and then that takes you into the process to enroll. Part of the enrollment process, you'll be asked to select the device you are adding. So the pop up dialog box looks like this. You can pick a mobile phone device, which you can see is uh, specified as recommended. And obviously, that's the 99% of users will be using a mobile phone. You can actually pick a tablet as well, um, and even a landline. So if anybody has a landline and has went through the MFA process, to set this up with a landline. I'd love to know in the comments how you've done that and how you found that experience because um, I, I'm not entirely sure of anybody that has uh, access to a landline that they actually use um, for these kind of purposes anymore. But yeah, let me know in the comments. Now, activating Duo Mobile. So let's say now you've went onto the App Store, the Google Play Store, you've installed the Duo app on your mobile device. To complete the enrollment then, you'll be presented with a QR code in the web UI to scan with your mobile or tablet from within the Duo app. So it looks like this, the QR code comes up, you scan it. This example here is the, for Android, um, of an example I did on my own uh, device myself. You can scan the QR code or you can actually click the hyperlink to get an email um, of the activation link instead. Once you've scanned it, it automatically recognizes that on your app and synchronizes and you get a big green tick. 
as you can see on the screen, and then you click continue. Just want to pause for a second just to make you have some helpful resources. I've got a Udemy course around the Snow Pro core certification exam, so a bunch of practice questions on Udemy. There's a link in the comments beneath this video, so check that out on LinkedIn. Um, I post all my updates and certainly anything that I um, get involved with from a Snowflake perspective goes on there as well. So it'd be really good if you could follow and connect with me on LinkedIn. And finally, if you haven't liked and subscribed to this channel yet, I produce new videos every week. So to get the latest videos, please like subscribe, hit the bell icon to be notified when I do post new content. Of MFA in action and how it actually works. So once you're then enrolled and you follow the process I just described previously, when you log into Snowflake, you're presented with a screen that looks like this. So you can either choose to send me a push, which is a notification to the Duo app on your phone. You can actually get a call. This is a voice activation message then that gives you the digits that you need to enter into the web UI, um, or you can enter a particular passcode. Look something like this in terms of an end-to-end -end login flow. So starting with yourself, you enter username and password to log into Snowflake. You get that dialog box, which I just showed you, and you pick one of the free options available to you. That then communicates with the app on your mobile device. Uh, here I've just denoted it as a mobile phone. Once you've approved um, the push notification or you've followed the call instructions or you've entered the passcode from uh, which you can generate for you, then you're granted access into the uh, Snowflake environment. So if you can't enroll users as a kind of admin, then what can you do? So you can provide support if a user doesn't have access to their mobile device, for example. You can either disable completely disable the MFA and let and let that user in. Or you can grant a, a grace period of a number of days to bypass the MFA, which is preferable. So if a user is in the office, they've left their mobile device at home and they can't get access to it, rather than just do a, a, a disable uh, MFA on their account completely, um, it would be best to grant a grace period until they can access their mobile device again. So then you don't need to worry about enrolling them again or re-enabling the account couple of code snippets to help you out here. So this is how you would bypass MFA for a particular user for 60 minutes. It would be an alter user command for their username. And then you would use the set mins to bypass MFA uh, parameter and you would set that to 60. Disable an MFA for a user. Do note there that the user will be required to go for the whole re-enrollment process. Again, if you do execute this statement for a user, basically you just set the disable to true. And then to verify that MFA is, is disabled for a user, you can check the value here of the X orphan duo property. So when you just describe user, you put the username in there, you execute that command. It comes up with lots of a big wide range of fields and properties for that user. You just check this one, ext underscore orphan underscore duo property and check the value for that. If it's false, it's disabled. Finally, don't forget, I've got a new book coming soon. Building Solutions with Snowflake. That's probably going to be coming out at the start of 2022. And uh, in the meantime, thanks for your support. If you have any feedback, questions, or comments, please leave them in the comments below the video.